Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today you have a fun pick a card video and this one is all about what your spirit guides want you to know and manifest. Okay, this is something that really came to me. I felt like I needed to do this video for you. I separated the specific cards here for you just uh, regarding angels and the higher powers, you know, something guiding you, star seed cards, all of that, okay? And I don't pick and choose like always. I just separate and organize them facing down and you're gonna see them here together, okay? This is going to be group number one, two, and three. Just concentrate, think of something that maybe you needed to hear right now from the higher powers, your spirit guides. What do they want you to know and what do they want you to manifest, okay? Maybe you're blocking, maybe you can just open a door or what are they trying to help you with that maybe you can allow them to help you, okay? Because many times we need to allow them, okay? Maybe they're trying to help you and you're stopping in some way. And if that's the case, you're gonna find out here on the cards, okay? I don't know what's gonna come. I'm just gonna go with the flow of the cards and we see, okay? So I hope like always that this helps you in some way. And if it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. I say that because it's true, I really do. I like to see your comments. You're letting me know if it helps you out, okay? I always try to interact and respond to all your comments. And I'm really grateful that you're here with me. If you are new to this channel, if you're not yet, consider subscribing. And if you're here for a while, thanks very much for your support, you know? I know who you are and I'm really grateful that you're here. If you want the cards for yourself, if you want the uh, reading, if you want something very specific for your situation, if you want to support this channel, all the details will be below, like always, okay? And the timestamp as well on the description and on the first pinned comment. All right, guys, so just pause the video if you need to, you know, meditate a little bit. The first choice is most likely the right one, but of course, you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most, okay? Again, this is going to be group number one, two, and three, timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if it was this beautiful crystal here, we live here to help us out. What are your spirit guides trying to tell you? They wanted to know, they wanted to manifest. Okay, we have here purpose. I'm going to read all the messages in a bit, okay? We also have willingness. We do have uh, the Dharma unfolding. We have Divine Direction, Focus Intention, we have Your Life is a Canvas, and we also have the Seven Star Sisters. Very interesting cards here for you. Group 1, straight away, okay, I'm going to read every message for you, okay? The first card here, it's Purpose, okay? The message is, you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love and this card is really showing even if that may not be the things that you consider that you have okay this can be like an affirmation the thing that the higher powers are trying to bring into your reality okay so they're trying to bring a purpose here okay which means it's something that you you want to do okay have a purpose in your life in your decisions something that you're trying to maybe manifest here and you don't know how or you have an idea of what you want or maybe you are confused and you're not sure of what you really want okay you can see here the message i'll bring it close to you okay you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love okay this means they will give you if you don't have yet or they are trying to make you aware all right of the determination that and dedication that you have okay demonstrating love all right in any situation that is going on in your life at the moment you can demonstrate love with determination and dedication okay like consciously showing this love within your life in your the things that you wanted to do your career okay the, the decision the purpose of what you really wanted to do it's here and together with willingness okay the message here is you are able to compromise if the end result is love okay this is really showing here guys again that uh, the love here the result if it's something that you really love if it's someone that you really love okay that you are willing to compromise so and if you if that's not the case guys this is just like i'm saying the higher powers the spirit guides here trying to show you that you can have this this compromise in a situation that you're living right now to organize and to bring purpose into your life, okay? To really find what you wanted to do and to, to show love 
towards yourself and whoever is around you, whoever is involved in your, in your life at the moment, okay? And this love, first of all, is to yourself, okay? To really what you want to do, to be loving your day-to-day -day life, okay? And be happy with yourself. It's not easy when we have to go to the motions of the days and the jobs and the things that we have to do, the family, the day-to-day -day lives, okay? I understand that. What they're saying here, Ed, is that you can believe and uh, focus, okay? on the higher powers to help you here, to have determination, dedication to the things that you wanted to accomplish and maybe trying to organize and trying to get to, to a certain point that uh, maybe you're not finding the light at the end of the tunnel, but they're trying to show you here that you will, they will give you this, this determination, this dedication, okay? Just demonstrate love with everything that you are trying to do and be willing to uh, compromise as well, okay, in any situation. We do have here, those are the the guides, okay? We do have here the Diwal Ko, which is the Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness, okay? Very powerful here, guys. One step at a time to happiness, which is really this, this willingness, okay, as well, connected here to the things that you want to do, the purpose that you have, and understanding that you have a path, okay? If the end result here is love, and if you know the, the steps that you're taking, uh, can, will, will bring happiness, okay? Okay, it's, it's take one step at a time to happiness. So it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy from, you know, one day to the next, but it's really showing that you can take one step at a time. Maybe it's taking away something that is not serving you. Maybe it's removing yourself from a situation. Maybe it's trying for uh, that job or that school or that uh, situation that you are trying to get yourself into or maybe trying to get yourself away. Okay, so take one step towards what you really want to do. Maybe it's just one thing that you need to do a day that at the end of a month, you will see a result. Maybe at the end of three months, you will see some results. But knowing that you're going towards love, towards the things that you want to do, your happiness, okay? We do have here the divine director, okay? This is the intervention and purpose. Divine inter intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, very connected here, guys, again, with the purpose of happiness and love. And it's very interesting because, you know, I, like I said, I don't pick and choose. So we're just seeing this card here. Again, connected. Happiness is your purpose. Okay, and the purpose is here as well. So this is very good. This is really lovely and connected. So there is something that maybe you're trying to do, guys, okay, that will bring you happiness. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a family. Maybe it's that career. Maybe it's your own business. You know your situation, guys. Take what resonates here, okay? They're just trying to tell you that they are trying to really be around you in this moment, okay? The intervention and purpose, okay? Divine intervention is occurring. So they are around you, okay? If it's your angels, your higher powers, what you believe right now, you will feel, guys, wherever you are, okay? They are trying to intervene and help you in this situation, because happiness is your purpose. So they're trying to bring you to this happy point, okay? And we have here Diana as well. Focus intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. This is very good. This is like a law of attraction, okay, guys? This is really showing here that um, when you have an intention, okay, that the focus of what you really wanted to do here, you can achieve, okay? This is really showing that uh, you, you should be seeing, guys, like visualizing that end result. You know, this is this is really the law of attraction here, but connected with the higher powers, okay? They are around you right now, trying to bring this into your reality too, okay? So you have this, this three higher spirits here trying to manifest and trying to bring this into your reality, helping you. Okay, whatever is your purpose and what is your desire, okay? Think about what you desire. Set sight, set your sight high. Why should you set yourself low, okay, or low expectations or something really low? If you're expecting already something to fail, okay, that is your intention. So you need to focus high, all right? Maybe you focus way higher than you could ever imagine and you're going to achieve like this other card here, step by step, all right? So it's going to be 
one step at a time towards your happiness okay guys put yourself first here and we do have here these cards here from the star seed uh, deck all right and uh, really powerful images as well your life is a canvas okay artist manifestation creative accountability this is really i feel connected with the focus here again they are trying to one more time bring you to this manifestation what you can do okay but creative accountability your life is a canvas guys you create okay you can paint and organize in your mind and have that vision have the vision board have something written down practical things step by step that you can do to focus on what you really want like i said is that family is is the is that love is it a job or the career or the studies what is it that you're trying to accomplish don't set yourself low okay you need to put yourself and your ideas and your goals high because then you can achieve because when we already have the low expectations we are putting ourselves low we are not even giving a chance to the universe to to really guide us towards this happiness because maybe it's something that we want but we really don't put any effort into it okay so the manifestation is something that you do it there is some work to be done all right so you are the artist here okay creating the canvas all right working on this canvas of your life so you need to do some practical things as well like uh, really first of all stop and think and understand what you want okay so what do you actually really really want here what can you compromise what is the end result that will bring you happiness and love and things that will really fulfill your life okay so that's the one that you can really paint in your mind like i said like, write it down have some some affirmations use maybe one of these cards as affirmations here as well you know something like that guys that can start bring your vision and your day-to-day -day mind frame you know ready for that next step towards what you really want your happiness we have the seven star sisters here also saying birthing creations tapestry of life expression guys i really feel like again this is bringing the creativity okay the creation and um, of what you really want here what are you trying to manifest maybe that you maybe some of you have put aside okay some of your goals some of your dreams and visions of that what you want because it has been hard or the situations didn't really help you so far okay what's going on in your life I, i'm not saying again guys that is easy what i'm really saying is that the chance is here this is just a reminder that you can manifest okay you can be very creative you can be this artist manifesting on the, on your life on what you really want okay creativity do you need creativity do you need ideas do you need the right words the communication well with your partner with whoever is around you whoever is is in your situation right now so what you need okay ask okay ask the higher powers you have this three um powerful spiritual guides here right now okay trying to help you so they came up to show you that it is possible they are not right next to you okay there is intervention divine intervention is occurring okay so they are trying to be there for you and uh, if you allow all right guys if you allow just look at this and uh, maybe understand that they are trying to be there for you okay whatever you believe guys higher powers angels the universe they are trying to help you manifest okay is these cards are here to really try to make you focus again bring you back to your focus okay focus intentions your focus of what you really want in your life what maybe you have left behind that you think it would never happen i think they are trying to bring you back here for you to really start painting again the life that you want okay guys all right this is what i have here for you okay just remember you can use this here as uh, manifestation affirmations as well okay so if you want to use this guys take a screenshot i would be really happy to hear from you if you want to leave me a comment if this is something that help you out in any way and I hope it helps guys really in some way and believe in yourself okay you have here happiness is your purpose okay so i hope you take at least this from this reading okay so like always if it helps you out in any case do let me know and again, I hope you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.
Group number two, if you chose this beautiful blue crystal, leave here to help us out. What are your spirit guys trying to let you know and help you manifest? We have here ownership. I'm going to read the message in a bit, okay? We also have uh, self-love. Beautiful colors here for you. We have uh, the Miriam, sacred vision. We also have uh, the Shekinah, sacred self. We also have charity, prayer and contemplation. We all really seeing these messages, these cards here together, okay, guys? The Sea of Mintake, and you are not for everyone. Interesting. Okay, guys, straight away here with the ownership card, okay? We can see here the message, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Ownership. Okay, very interesting card here. Guys, what they're trying to, to let you know is that uh, you can, or maybe you are already, okay, owning anything that's happening to you, good or bad, taking that as lessons, okay? So if that's not the case, guys, this is something you can do, okay? There are times that uh, bad things happen to us and we really don't know why. We're not happy and, uh, you know, you're just over questioning and trying to understand and why me, why this happened, did this happen to me, you know, the situations. And sometimes we don't understand it straight away. But if we take as a lesson, what did you learn with that, okay? Whether you understood or not, why it happened in the first place if you can take a lesson from anything then you know you're progressing okay because you know you you're learning something and you maybe it's something that you can avoid in the future maybe something that it will will help you in the future in the future relationship in your future business in your future decisions okay so and again it could be something good as well all right so your misdeeds and accomplishments so both sides, okay, guys, just always take something that you did well, something that is going well for you. What are you learning? How can you help maybe others in this situation? They're trying to remind you, okay, of this ownership, ownership of learning the good and the bad, all right? Self-love here, okay, guys, you can see here the message. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Okay, guys, so they're trying to remind you here to love yourself, okay? You know your situation, of course, if you're trying to maybe manifest a relationship or maybe you are already in a relationship that you're trying to love someone else and grow in, in the situation. But in the first place, you need to remember to love yourself, okay? It's a self-love because without the self-love, it's not really possible to go ahead and love another, okay? So self-love is necessary to love another so they're just trying to remind you to take time for yourself to dedicate a little bit of time to understand your feelings your emotions your needs okay it could be physical spiritual emotional you know what's going on right now and uh, they are trying to remind you that it is time for you to take that little bit of self-love and dedicate a bit of time for you okay what did you learn so far did it happen that with any situation so so far that you didn't really love yourself enough did you give too much to someone else or a business or a situation that uh, it took so much out of you okay what did you learn with that what can you avoid or something that could be going well for you something that is good okay what can you carry on and use this and continue doing something that's good and like i said maybe you can help even someone else okay we do have here the higher powers that are coming for you, okay, the, the spirits are the Miriam, okay, sacred vision. And the message here is, choose to forgive in order to heal, see the light in all, remember that love has no boundaries. I feel like this is really connected with the ownership as well, okay, which is, you know, is asking you here to forgive in order to heal. So maybe this is one of the things that uh, it happened in the past, but you can take a lesson out of it, right? So what can you learn with it that you may not want to repeat, 
But in any case, you do need to forgive someone. Maybe you need to forgive yourself, okay? Give you give some self-love here and forgive yourself. Forgive someone else in order to heal, okay, guys? See the light, which is in this case, see the lesson. What did you learn with this, okay? Remember that love has no boundaries, okay? And we also have here the shaking up, the sacred self. Unleash your spirit. Express your gifts. Dance to the sacred rhythm of life. This is very interesting again, guys, in a way that you need that flexibility, okay? Dancing with the rhythm of life here. Flexible, learning what is going on to continue. Not giving up, not giving up on yourself, not giving up of your self-love, okay? Unleash your spirit. You, it, you did get hurt in the past. Yes, maybe. Okay, but what did you learn? How can you carry on? Give you, give yourself that love that you deserve to yourself first, the forgiveness, and then you can carry on. Okay, so you can express your gifts. What else can you do that is good for someone else as well? Like I said, with the lessons, maybe you learn something that you can teach others. You can help someone else. Okay, we also have the charity here, prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Very powerful card here, guys. Is there something that you're trying to manifest for a while? Is there something that you're asking? Maybe it's, or maybe you, you stop asking. Maybe you think like you don't deserve or it has been too hard or you're waiting for too long. It's asking you right now. It's giving you the permission, okay? So we have these three powerful spirits here trying to help you. And they are just asking you. Pray, ask. The prayer is just, uh, you know, a conversation with the with the spirits. Like just ask, and you shall receive. So they are bringing you a promise here that you shall receive. So just ask. Make sure you connect, okay, with whatever you believe right now, guys. Higher powers, the angels, God, the universe. What do you want to call? Okay, they are asking you right now. Ask, pray, call about, call upon us, okay, and you shall receive, guys. So make sure you ask something that you really want, okay? It's your chance here. We do have the sea of mean take, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Very interesting here, guys, with seeing potential, okay? And I feel like seeing potential on yourself, okay? With this self-love here, I feel like connected. What do you have to offer? Where is your potential that maybe, like I said, maybe you are missing, maybe... You're forgetting that you have this potential as well, even to help others, like I said. Bringing unconsciousness to light. Is there something with the first card asking about forgiving and healing, okay? Is there anything that you need to bring into your mind again to just release, okay? Forgive and be able to move on. I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm just saying that sometimes we really needed to do that shadow work and analyze ourselves in order to be able to move on. And uh, to really understand why something happened, is there any patterns that you needed to finally let go, you know, cut away from your life and move, okay? Again, that's self-love, guys. And we do have here, you are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. This is a very interesting card here, okay? Show you the, the image as well. Embrace your weirdness, guys. Is there, again, connected one more time with the self-love? Is there something that maybe you didn't like about yourself? You think you're too, you're too different? You're trying to fit in? Embrace, okay? Embrace yourself the way you are, okay, guys? However different you may be, however strange, okay? Like quotation marks is strange. You may think you are. There's no such thing, guys. We are just unique. We are all different. And we all have potential. We all have different things and gifts and, and creativities. Different things that we can bring into our realities and different traits we all different because we are unique okay and we all can contribute in some way to our own lives to other lives so like i said guys see potential where is your potential okay there's i feel for some of you guys group number two here you have really a potential here okay first of all is some self uh work here like a self-love healing and then moving on, guys, I really see some of you being able to help others, okay? The word charity is jumping up here for me. 
to some of you so if this is for you guys you know take this embrace and uh, you know pray to the higher powers ask and you shall receive okay guys this is very very powerful ask and you shall receive here so is it just telling you just ask okay reach out to the higher powers and you shall receive so i feel like you will be able to help others guys i feel like really strong here you have so much potential okay the word potential is jumping here but self-love first of all okay guys give some time for yourself give some time to, for healing if there's anything in your past that you're trying to heal maybe you needed to forgive yourself that that maybe you're thinking you waited so long you you're here so far and uh, maybe wasting your time whether it's in a situ any situation that you are right now don't beat yourself okay guys for things that didn't happen so far the important thing is you can concentrate now on your present and on your future okay all the potential that you have and i really feel like group two you have a, a beautiful potential here like i said to help yourself and help others okay i really feel like you can do some beautiful work whatever is your situation whatever is your calling i feel like you will you will be called to be helping others as well okay at least some of you guys let me know if this resonating anyway okay this is how it's coming to me and like i said the word charity is jumping the potential is jumping and things like that okay but self-love and healing first of all okay guys so the the spirit guides are really trying to let you know it is time to take that uh, okay ownership of anything that uh, you have learned so far good and bad okay what are the lessons that you can take with you you can do some healing you can do some self have self-love and you'll be able to move on and see so much potential okay embrace your weirdness okay face your true north be you know stand up for yourself speak up you do you okay and you will be able to really help yourself and others but don't forget guys they are actually i feel like standing their hands and uh, and the uh, like open arms to embrace you and to really expect and just waiting for you to reach out and say what do you want okay one more time here guys ask and you shall receive okay very very powerful and i hope this helps you in some way guys this is what i see here for you very powerful okay let me know if it resonates in any way leave me a comment like always guys take what resonates and i hope it helps you really and if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you and again thanks very much for watching Group number three, if you choose this beautiful lilac purple crystal here, what are your spirit guides trying to let you know and manifest? We have your transformation. I'll read the message in a bit. Detachment. Also, white eagle, ancestor spirit. We have the green tara, supreme protection. Also, the holy spirit expect miracles we also have the inner earth and the star ancestors very interesting here and i already see the connection here the ancestors coming twice here guys very interesting cards here for you group three is straight away here transformation okay they are trying to let you know and trying to manifest transformation you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness Okay, guys, they're trying to let you know that it's a time for transformation or maybe you already know you're going through a period of transformation in your life. Okay, and this is a powerful time. Okay, guys, this is really showing that uh, it's time to use this power okay, of love to move through. Okay, there's some illusions. There's anything that you needed to move now in your life. And uh, it is the shift, okay, into awareness. You are learning about yourself. You're learning something new here. Maybe it's regarding your relationship. Maybe it's regarding the situation that you are right now. Maybe it's regarding the the business, the job that you are, that you don't want to be anymore. There's some kind of movement and change here. Okay, guys, you know your situation, okay? Just take what resonates. What I'm saying is it is a transformation time here. And they are around you to help you through this Okay, guys, because transformation is not always easy. And sometimes, you know, there is a, a letting go of something that we really want. And it, it's hard because we do also have the detachment card here. Okay, you can see the message here. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Okay, guys, there's some kind of detachment here. Okay, like I said, the transformation brings uh, cutting away, okay? The detachment here of old patterns 
things that didn't serve you so far and ideas maybe it was maybe it's an attitude maybe it's a relationship maybe it's a place okay you are detaching from something and there are old patterns that didn't bring you anywhere they didn't help you so far so you know you have to let go of something and have this beautiful big transformation that is not always easy okay guys but they want you to know that they are with you okay helping you through this transformation and they are trying to manifest something beautiful here through this transformation okay it is a powerful time in your life and just embrace this guys i know it may not be easy like i said but they are around you okay and uh, you do have the white ego here and the ancestor spirit and the same um i'll show you here closely the message here okay ancestor spirit connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now again guys the word pattern here you know these cards i don't pick and choose guys i just you know shifted them um and uh, face them down so we are seeing them here together and i can see here the connection already with the patterns and with the ancestors okay the two words here showing so maybe there is something guys that is going on in your life that you have seen happening in your family as well okay maybe you have seen the situation over and over is it is it the the kind of relationship is it the kind of mind frame is it you know the kind of job or situation or lack of money lack of happiness you know guys what is going on that maybe you have seen in your family maybe you have seen with your parents or maybe grandparents or uh, uncles aunties you know of course guys i'm just saying take what resonates okay what is this really showing that there is some kind of patterns here maybe coming from even before you okay it could be something that you learned maybe by not because it, they taught you specifically but they, that's what you saw those are the examples you had and you know your mind okay you unconsciously learned that okay without even realizing and you're repeating okay so the higher powers the spirit guides are here white eagle is here trying to bring this healing okay guys i'm just saying there's a pattern there's something that you need detachment and transformation from i'm not saying that all the things that happen in the family is bad okay guys i'm just saying there's one specific thing here you know your situation okay that you need detachment and it could be for some of you that you have seen in your family okay things that happen over and over but it can be healed now okay guys so this is very powerful it can be healed now so the the higher powers are trying to uh, let you be aware now okay what they want you to know is that there is a, something a transformation time and a detachment time and what they wanted to manifest is is healing this beautiful new time here for you we do have here the green tara as well the supreme protection okay you are protected cords are being cut move beyond limitation trust okay guys it it really i i don't choose these cards you can see how powerful and connected they are it's so beautiful you can see like there's some cords that are being cut okay guys maybe i'm not saying that always is the same like for everybody but it could be that something that happened in your family but it's something that could be just you okay guys so it could be that there's something with your past with your ex with your relationships with uh, your jobs with the things that you're manifesting in your life at the moment and you don't want to anymore it's time to cut away and there is a transformation time this is a change this is a chance for you to change this okay and cut cords okay move beyond the limitations and trust trust the higher powers trust that the universe is trying to conspire here for your highest good okay guys they are trying to really bring the heal the the happy times here to your life okay we do have here the holy spirit guys you have the holy spirit next to you expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back this is beautiful guys really really lovely here with this detachment and transformation like i said it doesn't mean that it's easy because especially if you're cutting cords if you're letting go of someone of a relationship or if it's of a situation maybe you're even moving places okay maybe you are going to move from the city that you are to another you know guys your situation i'm just saying there is some cords being cut at the moment and they this is not always an easy process okay but for you to trust okay you do have the holy spirits the higher powers universe angels 
whatever you want to call guys they are around you right now trying to bring this okay spirit has your back okay they are protecting you they know that you can move through this and they're trying to help you heal along the way and let it go okay of anything that's not serving you and the inner earth you can see guys here this beautiful picture right you will survive this new resolutions and beginnings wow guys i, I can't make this up it, i it's like they were really like chosen by the high powers for you here they're so connected it's beautiful you will survive these guys whatever is this situation like i said the transformation the detachment that is not easy okay you are through the process okay i feel like some of you are really leaving this situation right now and you're going through the process of cutting away and you know people situations they are like left and right they're just you know trying to let you know okay the higher powers are they trying to let you know they know you're going through this transformation but what you're going to manifest here guys okay the miracles okay you will survive new solutions and beginnings beginnings guys and i feel like i said some of you moving new beginnings new relationships new jobs new careers new ideas new creativity new things okay guys manifesting in your life so just take hold guys of this okay you have the power of holding on and manifesting this into your life okay new solutions and beginnings so there are some problems that maybe some of you are not being able to find the solution or the light at the end of the tunnel okay things will flow okay guys new solutions and beginnings will flow for you so don't worry and we do have the star ancestors like i said connected with the other ancestor card here hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper okay guys so again i feel like connected with the other ancestor card showing that uh, you will find hidden secrets maybe with solutions maybe with uh, places for you that you still need healing you know your situation guys some lost wisdom something that maybe you lost you'll be able to find again okay guys wisdom to carry on to make the right decision okay look a little deeper okay it's just asking you there's something else that you need to bring into you know the surface and bring into your reality to find the solutions here very powerful cards here for you guys and uh, the main thing here is the higher powers know that it's not uh, an easy period here and it's just a phase okay they just wanted to know that the manifestation of the new beginning is really close as well they have your back okay guys just remember focus here okay miracles will occur naturally you will not have to force the solution here things will come to your mind i feel like the solution the, the right words as well okay trust that you will know the next step the doors will open so you just guys make sure you meditate you pray you connect with the higher powers because they're really trying to be there for you but sometimes we, de we do need to allow as well okay they don't force their way in but they're there okay spirit has your back don't forget that guys very very important and remember you do have the the white ego okay of the ancestor spirit okay you have also the green tara the supreme protection and these three spirits okay and the holy spirit guys you have the holy spirit there right with you expect miracles guys because maybe i feel some of you may not know where the resolution is coming from how can you resolve the situation that you are right now but they are just asking you to trust expect miracles things will surface okay guys like uh, hidden secrets lost wisdom and uh, i feel like this lost wisdom is like the the wisdom that you may not even think that you have you will be wise enough to take the right step to make the right choice and to go into the direction that you need to to go okay letting go detachment but remember guys you have uh, the goal and the new beginning solutions and new beginning here for you guys okay so beautiful cards here for you guys really showing that whatever you're living right now the transformation the detachment period that is not easy the higher powers they are there with you the spirit has your back and the solutions and the the beginnings will open okay the, you can see here guys like this this card here you can see like uh, you're finally coming out and you see like the the bright okay you can see here in this picture like beautiful you will you finally see okay the the solutions and the beginnings 
happening there for you to resolve whatever you're dealing with right now okay guys this is what i have here for you group three very powerful cards here for you remember spirit has your back okay this is really beautiful and i hope it helps you out in some way like always if it does let me know leave me a comment and again i hope you have a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching